Hello YouTube, in this tutorial I'll show you how to save your Blender games as a executable file so you can play them on any computer, anywhere, anytime, for free, absolutely free. Alright, so to start off make sure that all your objects have material, otherwise they won't show up in your game. And then if you haven't already done so, add a camera to your game. When you save your game you have to be in camera view, otherwise you'll be in the same view when you play your game as you saved the viewport thing, whatever. So, just make sure you're in camera view. Then, you can muck around with the settings here. So, here you have Stimulant Player, and you have full screen and desktop, stuff like that. If you check full screen, that means when you play the game, it's going to be full screen. You're not going to see the little red cross there. It's going to be a full screen game. Then you have anti-aliasing, AA. When you zoom in here, oops. Hey, let me just turn this on. You can see the little kind of jagged lines. They're the samples, the AA samples. The higher the AA, the smoother that line's going to be. So if you turn it up to something like 16, it will look nice and beautiful in your game. But remember that the higher the samples, the more the computer's going to have to work to make it like that. So don't put it too high, like 16. That's going to be a bit too far. It's going to slow your game down a bit. All right, so now that's done. Go to File, user, user Preferences, and you want to go down to Game Engine and select Save as Game Engine Runtime. Then you go down to External Data, Pack in a Blend Files. That just packs all your scripts and textures into one file. So, <coughs> so when um when you save it, it's not going to go have missing textures or anything like that. Now that that's done, you just go to Export, Save as Game Engine Runtime, and just save it somewhere. Alright, just call it game. Yeah, and just save it. Might take a bit. And here it is. And you just wanna open it up and open game. And there you go. As you can see the anti aliasing works really well when it's really high. You can see that the cube is actually a fairly straight line the edges of it. Uh, the shadows are a bit jagged a bit but that's basically it. That's all there is to saving games. You just press escape to exit. So that's it. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions please ask through the comments or inbox me and if you like please subscribe and like the video. Thanks.